My name is Eddie White. I'm from Minneapolis, Minnesota, and I'm an artist, um, an R&B singer. I'm from the north side of Minneapolis. It's legendary because, you know, I'm kind of from the same neighborhood Prince is from. Went to school over there, graduated. I've been living here my whole life. This is uh, where I started my music career. I met the people I indulge in music with in the same community, so it's my roots. It's just, it's new. I grew up with my family in Minnesota, in Minneapolis. My dad and my two sisters, it's just us, us four. How I got into music is, you know, my dad used to have me sing with him because he sings as well. Uh, all the way back to when I was three, he used to have me sing on the bus for strangers, like on the way to daycare and stuff like that. As I got older, um, I used to be afraid to actually sing for people. I just thought I was too cool, you know, I thought it was soft. Into, you know, my wave, met a few friends that kind of made music and that's kind of how I got started. Started working with them in, in closets, you know, recording in closets and stuff you know, little home studios, and then gradually built up from there, met people, met more people that did it more professionally and just kind of expanded myself. Typically my creative process is, you know, I just I always want to get better, so I'll set up things to where we can go and practice, you know, my delivery on stage or like different ideas that I come up with. Music is important to me because it's, it's my biggest way to express myself, you know? The Hot 97 Who's Next thing kind of came out of nowhere. And I saw you know, them post me and I seen the video that they posted on YouTube. It's actually a friend of mine that, that I work with on uh, music videos. And he just did it to just see if it would work. You know, and then it just hit, you know, it caught. And then I woke up to all of the news and I was like, oh, this is dope. So it was a surprise. I didn't you know, plan this at all. It just happened. So I feel like, you know, it's God. You know, I just want to take this next step into just showing people who I am or, or introducing myself to more people, you know, like that's the goal. Hot 97, whose next thing is just, I feel like it can be a segue into, you know, a new relationship with whoever it is. So Eddie, um, Kevin is one of the artists we identified as someone we see really high potential in and one of the artists that High 97 wants to get behind and break. You know, if you can give him some advice, encourage him on what he should be doing. You can't be in this business and not commit yourself wholeheartedly. And the shit you trying to do, being an artist, it's every day. 
Every every day, you know, you know what it takes. Every day, you got to be on. Every day, you got to be thinking. If you were building bricks and building a house, you would be building, working on shit every day. Every day, you got to work on your shit. Everything matters. But if it don't matter to you, if you don't think everything matters, how the forty two people here gonna think everything matters? Facts. You know what I mean? So you got to make it your own. And the other thing, I would say to you is, please use your, your advisors as a soundboard. Nobody know you better than you. The third thing I would just say, make sure that the people you do have around you have the same commitment to you as you do yourself. Oh, last thing, and I'm, I'm gonna take a long time. Oh, the, the last thing I would say to you, relationships to me, and I taught Jaylena this, records are gonna come and go. And no disrespect to artists, artists are gonna yeah. come and go. But the, the one thing that hasn't changed, I can call TT on a Saturday night at eight o'clock, and she gonna answer my call because I never made it about my record. It was always about my relationship. Yeah, it's facts. Always, and so as you go through your life, some people are not gonna play your shit. Don't get mad at them. Yeah. Figure out a way to get to them. Figure out a way where you, ma where you matter to them. Somehow, everything we put out is not the hottest shit in the world. But because Jelena has a relationship, because Shadow has a relationship, people give us a shot. And they, my motto even about records too, don't play my motherfucking record, you don't wanna play my record. But when the motherfucker get hot, mm -hmm. don't call me either. <laughs> that was do your show. <laughs> don't do that. Is, is a moment that I'm trying to capture. It's it's a feeling that you know that you can forever chase, and, it, and it's always going to bring you joy. That's how I feel. Niggas thirsty, spinning blocks, they tryna toast them. Yeah. Coca got a hold of, move it out the Motorola. Fuck the jurisdiction, free all of my niggas up the road, just send them home. Yeah. I got all these hundreds on me. Yeah. Got a grind just so these hundreds don't leave. Ring a ring a ring around the road. Yeah. I have two solo projects and I have two joint projects. So I have those on, you know, Apple Music. I have the No Class projects on Apple Music and SoundCloud mainly. I got a single that I'm pushing right now called Potential. It's more of an in-depth look into my, my life. It, you know, it's my reality, my I'm truth. Like Z, sometimes success is change the ones around and I'm the same me. Mm. Need a mink to face this weather I was brought up in. Mm. And I'm just always creating, you know? The next step, always looking for the next step, always looking for another way to creatively push myself out there in the universe. Everybody say what they gon' do. When that time come, there ain't no shit, yeah. Ring a ring a ring around the rosy. All the niggas thirsty, spending blocks, they tryna toast them, yeah. Coca got a hold of, move it out the Motorola. Fuck the jurisdiction, free all of my niggas up the road, just send them home. Yeah. I got all these hundreds on me, me. Got a grind just so these hundreds don't leave. Ring a ring a ring around the rosy. Yeah. I come from the snow to where the OG move that soda, yeah. I just want to say thank you, Hot 97, for everything. I look forward to seeing you guys again real soon. And who's next? Eddie White. <laughs>